Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit final mixes seamlessly in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to edit this final mix. I want to jump from one chorus to the next, cutting out the section in the middle, making the song shorter. At least that's what the client wants. So let's find the first chorus around here. Sympathetic I do. You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you. Think you're bad boy. Right here is the top of the chorus. So that's where the edit is going to be. Let's type M to put a marker right there. Let's zoom out and find the end point, which should be another chorus. Can't help but feel sympathetic, I do. You think you're bad boy, but I feel bad for you. Think you're bad boy. Right about here. So again, we'll type M to put a marker right there. And then zoom out again. So now let's zoom in to the first section. Let's go right after this kick. Put a cursor right here and type S to split this item just after the kick. Then we'll zoom out, go to the end point, and zoom in and go before the kick. Right about here. Type S, and now we could delete this piece, zoom out, and move this over to here. Zoom in, and we should have two kicks at the top of each chorus. Think you're, think you're bad, boy. And they sound the same. Think you're, think you're bad, boy. So we need to move this piece on top of this piece in the exact same spot so our edit will be seamless. And we could do this by going to the options menu and turning off auto crossfade and trim content behind media items when editing, if they happen to be on. This will allow us to put this item on top of this one while still seeing and hearing both. The seeing part is what really makes this perfect. Let's drag this over and we can make this if the kicks are the same, perfect. Right about here, notice how the waveforms line up perfectly or seamlessly. Now, if we play this, we're going to hear both at the same time, and we don't want that. So instead, we'll go back to the options menu and turn on auto crossfade and trim content behind media items when editing. And now, if we trim this out, it creates a crossfade, so we're not going to hear both at the same time. Let's make it the size we need. Hold on Shift to move it over. Now we can place it right before this kick, either over here or over here, but it should sound perfect. Think you're bad boy, think you're bad boy, think before it sounded like this, think you're bad boy. and now it sounds like this. Either over here Think you're bad. or closer like this, but just before the kick, which is the top of the chorus. Think you're bad, boy. Think you're so that's a perfect edit. Let's try it again with a different song. Again, we have a final mix right here. We want to edit from one section to another. I think the chorus is somewhere around here. Let's hear it. Right here is the beginning of the chorus. You don't get so again, we'll type M to put a marker and then go find the other edit point, which should be around here. Right here. Type M to create a marker, then we'll zoom out, zoom in. To the first one, go right after 
this kick right about here, type S, do the same over here, but go before the kick, type S. Then we can delete this, zoom out, and move it over. And we should have two kicks with two downbeats for our chorus. So now we just need to put this one over this one. And again, we'll turn off auto crossfade and trim content behind media items when editing. So now let's trim this back. We can drag this over and make it look perfect right about there, just like a puzzle. So now edit should be seamless and perfect. And again, we'll turn on auto crossfade and trim content behind media items when editing. So now we can trim this back. It creates the crossfade. We'll fix that to make the length and then move it before the kick or maybe over here. What's here, the edit. You don't get to call me up. Before you don't get and after. Let's make the edit a little bigger. You don't get That's too big. Something like this. You don't get to Let's make it a little smaller, like this, and move it over. You don't get to call me. It sounds seamless and perfect, because the waveforms line up before and after it looks the same. So it's a perfect way, or a seamless way, to create edits on finished files like this, where the in point and the out point are very similar. So that's pretty much it. That's how to edit final mixes seamlessly in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.